Hello folks and welcome to New Brighton State Beach in Aptos, California. And thanks for joining us for our first virtual campfire. My name is Paul Cars, and I'm a senior interpretive aide with California State Parks. Join us today, our senior interpretive aides, Ashley Wimp, Ravina Hasselbach, and Carolina Mejia. You're probably watching from home, sheltering in place because of COVID-19. I want to take a moment to appreciate and thank you for doing your part while we are all in this together. If you're looking for updates about the responses to COVID-19, I invite you to check out California State Parks webpage, www.parksca.gov, and you'll find updated information about access and closures. Also on Flatten the Curve, you'll find some suggestions and precautions uh, when you go out in nature. But before we start the evening of campfire festivities, let's take a moment to acknowledge that New Brighton State Beach sits on the land of Awaswa-speaking tribes called Aptos, Soquel, and Zayani, who were the original stewards of this region. We would like to recognize the indigenous people past and present, give our appreciation for the opportunity to teach, work, live, learn, and steward on their traditional homelands. Now, what I'd like you to do is raise your hand if this is the first time that you've visited New Brighton. Okay, now raise your hand if you've been here maybe more than twice. How about three times? How about ten times? Well, let, no, let us know where you're tuning in from when you send comments to us from on Facebook and on YouTube. So on the comments, be sure to tell us that where you're visiting from. Uh, how many of you are from Santa Cruz County? I bet there's some of you from San Francisco. And I bet there's a whole bunch of you from Sacramento. How many are from uh, Los Angeles? Who's from Minneapolis? Who's from New York? Who's from Idaho? Again, drop us a comment and a like and let us know where you're from and when you tune in for our next one we'll be able to make shout outs to you now wherever you're from uh, we're gonna have Carolina who's gonna test your knowledge with a game about our state animals insects and plants okay. hi guys my name is Carolina Mejia and we're gonna play some California State trivia in my hands, I have some stickers with some California State representatives of animals and plants. And we're going to play a little game. The first one is California State Mammal. Grizzly bear. Skunk. Human. <laughs> the answer is the gray whale. Ooh. Whoa. The next one is a California state tree. Pine tree. Oak tree. Pineapple tree. The answer is a coastal redwood. Oh. Ooh. Makes sense. Yeah. The next one, a California state bird. Bald eagle. Vulture. Condor. The valley quail. Oh, I love quails. <laughs> They're so cute. They are very cute. The California State Flower. Bird of Paradise. Daisy. Cactus Flower. It is the California Poppy. Ah. Oh. And the very last one is the California State Reptile. Mm. Alligator, rattlesnake, lizard, and the answer is the desert tortoise. Uh, These are all our California state animals and plants. Thank you for, for playing, guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Ashley Wemp, and we're going to be singing a song together. And I know many of us are staying home and trying to get figure out how to get some exercise. So we're gonna be singing a song with some movement. 
and that song is my Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. And what we're gonna do is for every word that starts with the letter B, we're going to either stand up or sit down. And so we're gonna sing through it once slowly so we get the hang of it, and then we're gonna speed it up again. So let's go ahead and sing the song. All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna start singing. So, one, two, three. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. <laughs> <laughs> bring back, bring back, oh bring back my body to me. Alright, should we do it again? <laughs> but faster? faster. Alright, let's do it again but faster. So, my body lies over the ocean, my body lies over the sea, my body lies over the ocean. So bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my body to me. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. Hi, everyone. We're going to do another song called Boom Chicka Boom. And this is a repeat after me song. This is a repeat after me song. And a do as I do song. And a do as I do song. And I do believe that I am standing up. And standing up. Standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I said a boom, chicka boom. 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 I said boom, chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And this time. And this, this time. Janitor style. Janitor style. I said a broom sweep a broom. 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 I said a broom sweep a mop a sweep a mop a sweep a broom. I said a broom sweep a mop a sweep a mop a sweep a broom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One more time. One more time. This time, state park style. This time. Ladies and gentlemen and kids, today we have a special guest who's come all the way from Elkhorn Slough, swam up here to New Brighton Beach and uh, play around in the seaweed and has decided to come out and meet with you. Let's welcome Otis the Otter! Yeah!
and until then, see you later. Everybody was able to join us for the campfire here, including our friend the otter. So to continue the tradition, we're going to tell a story around the campfire. And tonight, I'm going to share with you the story about the concrete ship. What do you mean, a ship made out of concrete? That's right. At the end of the pier in Seacliff Beach, there's a ship that's made out of concrete. How can that be? Well, it just so happens, all ships built before World War I were built out of what? But during World War I, everybody wanted battleships, and they used a lot of steel, and all of a sudden, they ran out of steel. So what are you going to build a ship out of? Well, an engineer from Norway decided to build a ship out of concrete. Any, you can make anything flow with enough buoyancy and enough surface area, and sure enough. And so they built a fleet of 12 of them. And so they were done right when the war was done. And who wants a concrete ship? So, three of them sat up in the open area uh, in, in dock waiting for someone to use them and nobody won them until around 1929 when a group of investors got together and they bought the concrete ship, had it towed down to Seacliff State Beach, had it sunk down into the sand, built a pier out to it, and from 1930 to 1932, it was a party boat. That's right. You could go out there and you could uh, dine, you could dance, uh, the kids would play games. And there was even rumors that after 9 o'clock when they took the kids off a boat, there was people that came out of the hills with boxes of clinky bottles, you know, prohibition. But anyway... Uh, 1930 wasn't a very good year to start a new business because that was, you know, the depression. And then when you take a concrete ship and you sink it in the sand like that and the waves come along, eventually it cracked. And it's been cracking ever since. So it closed in 32 and it sat there until 36 when the state bought it for one dollar. Would you buy a concrete ship for a dollar? Well, you can. I don't know where you put it. Your mom wouldn't let you bring it home put it in the backyard, would she? Anyway, so the ship has been there ever since. And, in two, and you could go out there and you could fish off of it. You could jump off of it. But in 2001, a really bad storm came and they had to close it. And then in 2017, another big storm came and it twisted the stern. Well, the ship is still there, although it's slowly sinking into the sunset, but you still can come to Seacliff State Beach and visit the cement ship, walk out to the pier and look at it from the stern end and enjoy the views that we have there. Anyway, I appreciate you spending time with us at the campfire tonight and hope to see you soon. Hi guys, so for this portion of our campfire, we're going to learn to roast marshmallows and make some s'mores. And joining me for this process, all the way from the beach, is the Otter Otis. Hey! Thank you for joining us, Otis. Alright, so the first and most important step of this whole process is to make sure you have adult supervision and that you're doing this over a barbecue. You have to remember to stay safe, guys. So the very first step is you're gonna get your marshmallow and you're gonna skewer it at the end. The second step is to make sure that you put the marshmallow right over the heat and you slowly rotate so you have an even cook along the marshmallow and you can do this as long as you want for how crispy you want the marshmallow the third step is to put the marshmallow in between two graham crackers and some Hershey's chocolate you put it in between and you press down on the marshmallow and you slowly rotate the skewer until it's out of the marshmallow and now you have a perfect s'more <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you for joining with us tonight. We really enjoyed having you visit with us at New Brighton State Beach for our first virtual campfire. Join us again uh, for our next one where we'll have live entertainment and more games and songs. And if you like what we did, be sure to comment back on Facebook. This will also be on the Seacliff State Beach uh, YouTube website. Again, thank you, be safe, and have a nice evening. Oh, good one.